Welcome to City Climb, where we explore some of our favourite climbing cities, find out what makes them tick and why we love them. Today, we're going to be looking at London. Wait, <laughs> London? Uh, yeah, I mean, we might not have miles of crags and hundreds of boulders, but we do have 20. What, 20? Yes, 20 amazing climbing gyms filled with some of the most psyched, inclusive and welcoming climbers in the country. I'm Rotimi. And I'm Annie. So come follow us as we take on a tour to some of these walls and communities you meet there. Let's go. Here we are at Fox Luis. It's an intimate, friendly bouldering centre. It's great combination of boulders, training area and gym make it a real fan throw amongst its followers. And it's where my crew, Climber, meet weekly. I set up Climber in 2019 with the aim to help black and ethnic minorities get into climbing. And since then, we've helped 300 plus people try climbing for the first time. We meet here every Monday night at Foxhall. Come join us. So, there's no rock nearby? Sure there is. Some of the best rock anywhere is just on the doorstep. The Peak District is a quick three hours away. North Wales, a mere five. And Portland is also just three hours. That's nothing. Also, Fontainebleau is a quick six hours drive. Wait, wait, it took me 12 hours last week. London traffic? <laughs> anyway, let's look back at our gyms and our communities. Mention walls in London and you might think of the castle, the grandfather of them all, which has been open for over 20 years. It's been in the game since 1995 and has grown to be London's busiest centre. Once inside, you'll find a lifetime's worth of leads, top ropes and boulders. It's also one of the many homes of Paraclimbing London, a climbing community led by Anna, the co-founder. Anna, what is Paraclimbing London? So we're here to enable paraclimbers to meet other paraclimbers, running sessions from novices to competent climbers. Someone out there who might have a disability think climbing is not for them. What would you say to that? You can. Um, like whatever your disability, be it a visual impairment, be it hearing impairment, being mental health, being physical, you can find a place in a group. So come find us. London, we have Yonder, a state-of-the-art bouldering dreamland where you can come to Session V9, share a workspace and take your mind and body closer to Nirvana. All that with coffee and cake. Yonder is also host to Queer Climb in collaboration with DJ Collective Queer House Party and the Climbing Cuties. I'm here with Nick and Sophie Sophie, tell me a little bit about the Climbing QTs. Sure, so we are an LGBTQIA plus climbing group. We climb all over London and every month we come down to Yonder's Queer Climb where Nick is DJing, bringing all the best vibes. <laughs> Nick, tell me what is the energy like at an event like this? Um, well, obviously it's like a really inclusive space and you know, accessibility is really important to a house party and that includes access to sport. And so, yeah, it's really great seeing like a really like diverse group like hanging out having fun in a, like a safe space. Who can come and join in? It's open to everyone like whatever your ability like you could be a V8 crusher you can be a complete newbie just come down it's super fun everyone's super chill and yeah it's all about a nice community. Here we also have Sam and Kian from Asian Climbing Crew who typically meet at Beth Wall. Sam Tell us about ACC. Uh, so Asian Climbing Crew is a group where Asian people can come together to climb, get to know each other and be their whole selves. We welcome everyone who identify as Asian or from an Asian diaspora. For example, I'm Chinese Canadian and Kian is Scottish English Iranian. And it's not all about the climbing. After every session we go out for dinner together, get to know each other, we're pretty social. Wow, dinner sounds amazing. What do you offer your community? Uh, just a really fun space for climbers of all abilities to come together and hang out and climb. And for new climbers, we also offer workshops.
We're joined by JT, who represents United We Climb, a community organisation that does a lot of work in London. JT, tell us about United We Climb. So United We Climb is a community organisation that works with and supports climbers from groups of people who face additional barriers to climbing. So for example, black and Asian climbers, LGBTQ plus climbers and climbers with disabilities. And what's your experience been being part of one of these groups? So as someone with quite a lot of physical health problems, um, being neurodiverse and struggling with my mental health from quite a young age, it's been really helpful to find other people who just understand what I'm struggling with and what my access needs are. Um, I can honestly say that it has completely saved my life. It sounds dramatic, but it's true. As well as having communities based around walls, London also has some formal climbing clubs. I'm here with Holly from the North London Mountaineering Club. Holly, tell me a little bit about what the club is all about. Sure. Um, our club has a couple of hundred members and our aim is to create a sense of community and support and uh, to make a place where people can learn and pass on the skills and their love of climbing. So do you need experience in outdoor climbing to join? No, not at all. That's one of the great benefits of being part of the club, is that we'll teach you everything you need to know. Even hand jamming? Especially jamming. <laughs> Today we've seen some great walls in the north and south of London, but there's loads more across the city. Way out west, we have Hang, London's newest wall for now. It features great setting and a strong sense of community. In East, we have Mile End, London's original wall. It's been welcoming climbers for decades. So, that's London. It might not be the first place you think of to go climbing, but once you look, you'll discover that there's a wall near you with communities, groups and a scene to make you feel welcome. For more information about London's walls and groups, check the link below. And in our city, no matter who you are, where you are, there's a place in climbing for you. Thank you.